guys, how's it going? I'm down here by the creek to test a Zippo emergency fire starting kit. Now, an emergency fire starting kit is designed for an emergency. If you run into trouble and you don't have a lighter with you and you need to start a fire. Well, what better way to test that than come on down here in my shorts, barefoot, needing to start a fire immediately in an emergency. Now this is not an emergency at the moment unless I cannot get a fire going and then I'm going to be very cold and I may have to put my shoes back on. But we're going to see if this kit works. Always be careful about where you start your fires. Luckily, there's a lot of dry wood here. So let's see if we can make this happen. Got it at Walmart. Walking through and I saw this. Emergency fire kit. All right, now, my feet are actually getting pretty cold. It says it's got a waterproof storage container that um, emergency fire kit comes through when others turn back. It's compact, high caliber construction, packed enough punch to overpower bleak conditions, fire up your campsite at a moment's notice. I hope so. But for safety's sake, I do have a towel and other stuff with me. But I'm hoping I don't need that. All right, so here's this. The lid. And what looks to be the fuel things. That would store in here. So let's see about starting this fire up. Ugh. Take one of these pellets out. Get me a stick. Ah, this one will work. Put it on here. I'll stick it like that. Now. So far, no luck. Huh. Oh, almost. So far, I'm not impressed. Gotta smush it up a little bit. Hey guys, so, so far, having a bit of trouble getting it started. Let's try to peel it like this. Oh. So far, it's been about four minutes and nothing. So, put this on, reach over here, and like I said, 
Very important to have multiple ways to start a fire. We'll try to smush it up a little bit first. We'll try that. I am not too fond of this right now. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Here we are. Let's see if this works. Right now, if this was an emergency, I'd be in a bit of trouble. A lot of trouble, actually. My feet are getting cold. But alas, we have a bit of flame. So that part works. So guys, I would not recommend this if you've never used it to depend on it as your sole fire start, starting method. Now the stuff inside of it seems to be working okay so far. Which is good, because it's cold out here. Slip these back in here. Nice. Seems like all we need now is a soccer ball. Like I said, like I say in all my videos, it's very important to have the knowledge and to go out and practice your skills. Because right now I'm telling you, if I have fallen in that stream and depended on this for a life and death situation, I may have been in really bad shape if I didn't have any other way to start a fire. Once again, the six in one Walmart survival knife. And always pick up your flint or your fire starter after so you don't lose it. All right. Woo! Give me a bit of a bonfire going. Not too big though. Just enough to warm the toes. Oh, no way. Check it out. Mushrooms. Woo! Man, a good fire can bring joy to any situation.
You never start a fire if you're not going to be in the area long enough to put it out. So until next time, guys, have a good one.